Alright, hey, oh, jeez, I just, okay, that was a great intro. Okay, hey guys, today I will teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And, um, I do not know how this happened. Okay, I do not know how that happened. Anyways, I will teach you how to solve this Rubik's Cube. Let me back up my camera. The keyboard off it. Alright, there. Alright, let me teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So... Hold up, let me just solve this Rubik's Cube real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. Alright, guys. So, I will teach you how to get a messed up cube all the way to this cube. So, this cube will be the end result, and sometimes it might not work. Uh, sometimes, I said, sometimes it might not work, so... There are times when it might not always work, so, um, yeah, this will, I don't know what to say, so, let's just get into the video, so, let me just scramble this cube up real quick, geez, scrambling up a cube is needlessly hard, okay, so, um, oh no, I forgot my train of thought. Oh yeah, so, um, <clears throat> first you want to do is search, and no, I am not going to teach you to be color neutral, because I am not color neutral, and I will probably learn how to be color neutral, but I probably might not learn to be color neutral, and if I don't learn to be color neutral, then I will not teach people how to be color neutral, and this is just, you know, that, so, first you'll have to solve uh the white face or or i mean the white cross first so find the uh white centerpiece there you go and then now just once you found that um just search around the whole cube for a white edge piece like this but for now we'll learn about this one so you found an edge piece at the bottom of the cube not these these are corner pieces we will use those for later we want oh frick we want these the ones with only two colors on them so what you want to do first do not turn it up like that that will well you can do that and then just later um do that but let me teach you something real quick so what you need to know is, um, make sure to remember this, uh, the color, the other color that is attached to the white is going to have to match up with the centerpiece. So for example, that is red, then it has to meet up with the, meet, match up with the red centerpiece, like so, so that we can create the first layer, like that. Let's find another one, uh... Jesus, these are all on the... Okay, so, let's see. You searched, but then you found um one in the middle. So, how to get rid of that? You can uh, do this. Just follow me. So, if it's, like... <clears throat> if that... If the white uh, edge piece is on um, part of the white edge piece that is connected to... Uh, the white center piece what you can do is first turn that down then change that like so and then do that <clears throat> which that will keep the white center piece and it's red uh center piece or white white edge piece and it'll also keep the white edge piece connected to the white center piece or white center piece and whatever other color while getting rid of that so now we want to find the orange centerpiece because that is the other color that is attached to the white is orange. Now you want to do that and bring that up like so. Now if you find a uh, one that is like not on the bottom but like if you can't find them on the bottom then try searching for like right there. You might find some right there and then if it's like that for example then it's green so then you still match it up with the green and then now bring it to the top so now these two have to be switched so bring it to the right do a f yeah f 
and then do a U prime, which is U, uh, which is doing U but counterclockwise, like that, and then bring it back. So once you did a U prime, now do an R, and then do a U, which will cause the uh, white center piece to be a uh, white edge piece to get on to you know and. I think you can solve the cube, so on like that. Oh yeah, by the way, one more thing. Um, if, uh, to take a shortcut, this isn't really beginner-like, but to take a shortcut, you, uh, if, like, it's on, like, that, and you have to do this and that, you didn't really need to do that. Some of you probably figured out already, but you can just take a shortcut, and instead of, like, doing two F primes or two U F f's you can just do um just one f prime so it's like yeah and then continue solving the cube so on but then uh, i was about to pause the video but no all right so let's see now if a centerpiece is on the bottom and then uh first of all find every centerpiece on the top now first of all there might be some centerpieces on the bottom first get rid of those so follow these exact movements r u r prime and then you can do that or you can do a u prime but it doesn't really matter now you want to put you want to insert um a white cent Ow, corner piece into one of these corners now if there's already one inserted but if one's already inserted but then um it the two colors don't match up then that is not correct you don't want that to happen you want You want the colors to match up to create the first layer. Now, let me do that. Okay. So now, <clears throat> uh, find um, a random corner piece. Doesn't matter. So I found a white corner piece. Now check what the two other colors are. Red and blue. Now let's just change the position of that. So now since there's red and blue, find the red and blue um, center pieces. Now you found those. So then bring it there and then there should be um an open space for it to go in now copy these four moves r these four moves are very important too so r u r prime and u prime you don't really need to do the u prime <clears throat> but if you want to you can and actually you kind of do need to do it but eh. and then uh, and then if it doesn't work the first time do it again and then again, so it got in. Yay. Um, now you can continue doing that, so on. Okay, an example is, hey, there's a white piece inserted in, and then the, and then, yeah, so can I go on? Uh, the answer is no, because you need the first layer created, and the first layer isn't created. So in this case, what you need to do is find the correct white piece. So now, let's see. Um, you found it. So then now, the you just kind of do the procedure to get to insert it in. So now it's inserted in, and that guy's booted out, like kicked out and booted out. So now just find. Now just find the crook spot for it, like this, and then just, yeah. My nail hurts after doing that, so why did I do that again? So now you want to create the second layer. And my second layer is technically almost done, but I will try my best to show you how to do a second layer. So, let's do the right-handed first. Okay, good thing. Okay, so now you find a second layer. You have to create the second layer. But then, uh, you have to find, um, a s edge piece that does not have yellow on it. But if there is yellow on it, 
and then there is no other let's just ignore those two edge pieces there is no other edge pieces that don't have yellow on it then just use that edge piece so it will boot out that one which will then use to Oh, wait, no. Uh, then we'll be able to boot out an edge piece that doesn't have yellow on it, thus being able to use it. So if there's red here, then what we need to do is... So we need that red piece right there. So then what we can do is boot it out. So those four movements that I showed you earlier in the video, that will be very important. So... First of all, uh, find an edge piece that has, well, two colors that does not have yellow on it, like this, the green and orange. Now, match the, so, for example, I've got green, green and orange, so then I have to match the bottom orange, the bottom color, with its centerpiece, like so. I cannot do this, because then it'll cause this, the green to be on the orange side, and the orange to be on the green side which you do not want because it's not the same color so we have to do that and then now we won't have to insert in here so then first of all we have to move it away not like this but like this so use your right index finger and then do that and then turn and then do those four moves i taught you except on your left hand so r well i mean l uh u prime L prime and then U and then now do those four moves to insert that white corner back in so R U R prime U prime so that works now then that booted out on um, that piece where we can use to get that red inside so yeah but uh I'm going to use this because I'm, I'm just going to make an example. So let's say this has a red and green on it. So then I want to insert it into the right hand corner. So then what you have to do is turn it away. Use your right index finger. Uh, if I call this my right index finger, then that's my left index finger. Use your right index finger to move it away. Then do then do those four uh, moves, and then do those four moves to insert it in, and then boom, that should be it. But in that case, uh, that was not the correct color, so I have to do that. And then just do that so on until the second layer is finished. I will try to make this video as fast as possible i'm sorry that this video is like 20 minutes long so now you've got the second layer done now you have to make the top cross aka the yellow cross um so now what you want to do is find a, a spot where there's yellow so now first do an f then do those four moves i taught you in the beginning of the video and then undo that f move uh Huh, I wonder what I did. Undo that F move that you just did. And then the yellow cross should be finished. But if it isn't finished, then uh, do it again. And now the next thing is you need these the uh, center piece, the edge pieces to match up with its colors. So in my case, if you, um, so in my case, if you're already done, uh you're already done with this part step however you want to call it but if you're not uh but if it didn't line up yet then here let me try to get rid of this real quick boop 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 boop, boop. all right so it doesn't line up then what you want to do first copy these uh four move oh, four wait let me see So seven moves. These are actually seven moves. Oh Jesus! No, no. Okay, so those seven moves. Copy these seven moves. So R, U, R prime, U. Make the uh, white set piece go all the way to the end. R, U prime two, um, and then R prime. Then that should be able to um align your pieces but sometimes it might not work the first try so do it 
no, I messed up. So do it again. And if you're lucky, it will work, but sometimes it might not. So just do that so on until um, your edge pieces line up. Okay, now what we want to do is the corner pieces. Now the corner pieces, uh, check to see. Now, for example, there is blue, yellow, and red on this corner piece. Now check its surrounding uh, center pieces. That has yellow, yellow, blue, blue, but then that has red, which that is orange. That is clearly orange, so that doesn't work. So that is wrong. That is not solved. And solved may not look really solved, but eh. All right, that has orange, yellow, blue. Now there's orange, yellow, but that's green, so that's uh, not solved. And this one is solved because there is red, yellow, green, red, yellow green so that one is soft make sure to remember that part that one is not soft because green yellow uh orange uh no a uh, yellow red blue so now make sure to keep that in mind so copy these four moves but remember to do the those four moves on the correct on the soft piece because then if you don't do it on the soft piece like right here then it'll cause the soft piece to go away i don't know where it goes it goes there yeah it goes away it goes away that's all i know it goes away so uh it makes you more trouble i swear if that piece went away that piece just freaking went away that piece just ran away from me bruh that piece freaking ran away oh, Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, so what you want to do is find that one solved piece. If there is no solved piece, uh, let's see. If there is no solved piece, well, that is solved anyways. But if there is no solved piece, or if there is one solved piece, then copy these four moves. Well, they're not four. They're more than four. I don't know. Like ten. I don't know. I, I'm not going to count them again. So do this. You... R, U prime, L, I think, yeah, L, is that L? Yeah, L, U, U L, or R, L, U prime, and L. Then that should have solved the pieces, but sometimes it may not work first try, but in my case, it worked first try. So, yeah. Next, you want to solve the cube. So do this. Um... You or just do this. Do those four moves I taught you in the beginning. And then now you inserted that. Now don't twist the cube like this and then start doing it. That will mess up your cube and just get rid of all your progress. So what you want to do is keep that face. Now just do um that, I guess. And then it's like make it so that it's a right-handed solve. And then do those four moves again. And then do that again and again until you have solved the cube. Let me just quickly have the footage of me solving the cube so it doesn't look like it cheated. Though it's kind of hard to cheat on a stickerless cube. And then boom, you solved the cube. Yeah, you solved your first cube. And this video is 18 minutes long, but it's supposed to be 10 minutes. And corner cut. And corner cut. Reverse corner cut. So, um, yeah. And then I'll probably teach you finger movements and stuff um, like this in a future video, maybe. Um, but for now, uh, this video is 20 minutes long and it's not supposed to be 20 minutes long. So, thank you for actually sticking to the end of this video. Uh, and yeah, bye guys.